Hello and welcome to game six, the final game of the 1978 Sabutio Cricket International Mini League. After the last game, New Zealand beating the West Indies puts them in prime position to win the title. However, England, they're waiting in the wings. A victory over Australia today will see them leapfrog New Zealand and take the title. This is sure to be an epic battle between those old Ashes foes. They will come out on top. Hey, let's get on with the action. Hello and welcome to Lords for this 10 overs international match between England and Australia. Australia won the toss and elected to bat. Australia's openers are Rick Darling and Graham Wood. First over, Willis to Rick Darling. Oof, and that is a definite loosener by Willis. That's four bodies with his first ball. Oh, and that was edged. Edged by Darling, and that was dropped. So Darling, looking to get off the mark. Willis. Oh, and that's a much better shot. And that was actually nearly course down that long off. That's a four. Four runs to Darling. Willis to Darling. Oh, and that's a lovely shot. And that was through the covers for four runs. Hendrick to Wood. Oh, and a nice shot by Wood. Again, through the covers, four runs. Hendrick to Wood. Second ball. Oh, and he's got him. He's got him. Hendrick strikes. New batsman is Yollop. Oh, and that's been edged. And that went through between first and second slip. Willis, Willis bowling again to Dawn. Oh, and I was edged and dropped. Australia 32 to 1. Oh, a slow ball, and that was picked up by Darling. That's a good four. Uh, Willis to Dawn. Another four runs to Darling. Oh, and that was. So nearly a catch. Oh, both of them. To Yell. And a little push into mid wicket, and that is going to be a single. Oh, and he's gone! And that's Gower! Gower has caught, it's a point! That's lovely delivery by both of them. Another edge, but this time he's gone for four runs. So Sargent off the mark with a four. And that's it. And that is Australia's 50. So Hendrick to Young. Oh, and that's a great delivery, full length delivery. Off stump has been removed. So Hendrick to the incoming Simpson. Oof, Hendrick gave that way too much, and that's four buys. So, Hendrick to Simpson. Oh, a slow ball, and Gower strikes again. The second catch of the innings for Gower. Top, Hendrick. Cozier. And that's a nice shot by Cozier. He's off the mark in a single game. Edmunds Cozier. Oh, and he's edged it. He's edged it. And that is a great catch by Taylor. Edmunds strikes in his first over. Cozier's gone.
Rickson could do with throwing the bat a little. And he has, and that's a nice four. Well timed, that almost could have been a court involved. That's four runs for Rickson. No, no, Edmonds to Rickson. Oh, another edge and another catch. This time a third slip. Oof, and a play and a miss. A good idea by both of them, well taken by Taylor. And both of them to Sargent. And that's a nice shot by Sargent. Both of them to Sargent. Oh, and Sargent picked that one up early and sent it straight back over the bowler's head. Both of them to Sargent. And that's being edged, and that's four runs again. Sergeant was very lucky not to be uh, caught out there. Oh, both went to Sergeant. Last three balls have been fours. Oh, and that was edged and dropped at third slip. Miller to Yardley. And that was edged through, past third slip. But I think there's going to be a run in that. And Miller. Sergeant. Oh, and he's gone. Edmonds. Back on for his second over. And he'll be bowling to Yardley. A nice shot by Yardley. Four runs. Edmonds to Yardley. That could actually be a single. And Edmonds to Thompson. Oh, and that was unfortunate. That surely would have been four runs. A good economical over so far from Edmonds. Thompson, can he swing the bat? He can. Nicely timed shot. Miller to Yardley. Australia really need to swing the bat now. And that's a great start. Didn't quite catch it. But it's gone square. Four runs. Oh, and a great delivery. Miller. Bowls Yardley. Clark's first ball. Oh, and he's bowled him as well. Oh, and it's two balls, two wickets. Miller takes Clark. Australia, 89 for nine. The last man, Higgs. Two balls left. Miller to Higgs. Oh, and a great shot by Higgs. He couldn't have timed that any better. Straight past Miller for four. Higgs, will he swing the bat? I think he will. And I think he's got LPW. Australia's innings closed on 93 all out after 10 overs. Top scorers were Darling with 24 and Sargent with 16. England require 94 runs to win. England's openers are Graham Gooch and Geoffrey Boycott. This first over, Thompson to Gooch. Oh, a loosener there from Thompson and that's gone for four buys. Oh, and that is LBW. That is plum leg stump in line. And that is out first wicket. Thompson strikes England. Worst possible start. Oh, and that's... Uh Push forward and that. 
is a single. Higgs to Radley. And that's a good ball and well taken. Higgs to Radley. Oh, and that's a nice shot. Radley for Higgs to Radley. Oh, and a nice shot there. Radley has long off the four runs. Higgs to Radley. Oh, and a beautifully timed shot by Radley. Similar sort of shot, pass long off for another four runs. Boycott still to get off the mark. Thompson to Boycott. And that's a much better shot through the covers, and that's four runs. Thompson to Boycott. Oh, an edge through the slips between third and fourth slip for another four runs. Thompson to Boycott. A slow ball and and that's a single far to boycott and that is much more like it a nice fall from boycott Clark to boycott and that's been caught it's been caught Little shot there to the covers by Gower, and that will be a single. Higgs to Gower. Oh, and edged, and that's again past third slip, and that's four runs for Gower. Higgs to Gower. And a nice cut there, square cut, and that's four more runs for Gower. Oh, and that was dropped at second slip. Is this a run out chance? It is indeed. It is a run out. It is a run out. Gower is gone. So the last ball of Higgs over. And this is to Breeley, Captain Mike Breeley. And he's side edge and he's been caught. Breeley has gone. First ball. Cozier to Miller. Oof, and that was edged. And that was nearly caught there in the gully. That's four runs for Miller, a good start. Cozier to Miller. Oh, a slower ball and Miller, he got that and he caught it. Me to the back through the covers for four. Cozier to Miller. And Miller caught that one as well. Me to the back, pass long off, four runs. And it proving to be an expense burn from Cozier. Cozier to Miller. And again, another four. Seventh over. Clark to Radley. And tentative shot there by Radley. And that's no run. Clark to Radley. And that's a better shot by Radley. Full length delivery. And that is just a single. Clark to Miller. And a defensive stroke there by Miller. And that is another single. England's 8th over, Yardley to Miller. And that was edged by Miller, but that's no run. So Yardley to Miller. Oh, that is an excellent shot by Miller. And uh, the field, the way it's set, means there could be a few runs. So that's one, two, Three runs to Miller. Cozier to Miller. And that was edged and dropped at third slip. And that's going to be a single to Miller. Cozier to Radley. 
And that was a nice shot by Radler. He swung the bat a little bit, but again, that's only going to be a single. Curves out to Miller. Oh, but that time Miller did manage to get hold of it and he's edged it through the slips for four runs. And that is just a single to Miller. Over. And that is not the best of starts. So Yardley to Miller. Oh, and that was edged for four runs. So, still a chance. So Yardley to Miller. Oh, and that's gone for another four runs. Yardley to Miller. Oh, and Miller's edged another one, and that's another four runs. Unfortunately for England, they need more than just fours. And that was so the ball as well, but he still managed to get it for a four miller. Oh, and he went for it, he went for the big one, and he missed it. Miller's gone. Yardley strikes. Yardley to Botham. Oh, and Botham, it's a four. All in vain. England failed to meet the run rate. England's innings closed at 88 for five after 10 overs. Top scorers were Miller with 38 and Radley with 20. Top bowlers for Australia, Clark one for seven and Thompson one for 14. And for England, Miller four for nine and Hendrick, 3 for 21. And the result, Australia, 93 all out, beat England, 88 for 5, by 5 runs. And the final table, New Zealand are champions. West Indies and England share second spot, and Australia were fourth. The New Zealand squad, led by their captain, Mark Burgess, received the championship trophy. The 1978 International Cricket League winners are New Zealand. What a game. England thwarted by Australia. Runners up along with the West Indies and New Zealand. New Zealand win the title. Who would have thought it after losing the first game against England? But that's cricket. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the game. A um, couple of things that, that came out of that. Um, the first run out. So the way I do my run outs, quite straightforward really. So if the ball falls in front of a fielder, inside the inner, cir inner circle, in a triangle, <laughs> the determinator, then that is fair game for a run out attempt. The way the run out takes place is I take the fielder out of the game and replace that fielder with the bowling figure. Now the bowling figure is about as close as you can get to something like a throw. So that is the, the representation of someone throwing the ball at the wickets. Uh, I know there's other rules in, in the pamphlet uh, which are to do with, with flicking, but um, to be honest, it looks a little bit complicated. And I think this is more of a, a true reflection of what that sort of discipline is of throwing the ball at the wickets. So anyway. Um, Yet the ball just scratched the wickets, it hit the back of the wickets and the base, and it was just enough to dislodge the bales. So, you know, Gower was run out by Wood. So uh, that was a, a first run out. Something else in the game, lots of catches. Oh, I love a catch. And uh, there was loads in this match. Uh, my field placings are obviously getting better. Uh, so that's, <laughs> that was really good to see. So yeah, like I said in the last video, I love a catch and we had plenty of those. Um, one or two contentious uh, calls maybe in the game, but you know, I play it the way I see it. And I don't replay the video to see uh, if the decision was right or not, because uh, in true 1978 form, there wasn't anything like the technology they've got these days. So I'll call it as I see it. And if a decision was right, then a great decision. If not, again, that's cricket. I must mention, obviously, the run chase itself. England just left themselves too much to do. Uh, Miller, four for nine. What, what, what a bowling spell. 
And then he knocked 38 runs, man of the match, but unfortunately on the losing side. So again, these things happen, but uh, a very enjoyable game to play from, uh, from my point of view. Yeah, really enjoyed that. And uh, I think it was a quite a fitting end to the, to the league. Uh, unfortunately for England, like I say, it just wasn't to be. And then New Zealand collected the trophy at the end. So uh, well done to New Zealand. So the future, I went into the future a little bit uh, on the last video, so I'm not going to dwell too much on that. But needless to say, there's lots of stuff coming up in the future. So uh, yeah, stay tuned to the channel hopefully and hit the subscribe button. If not, no problem at all, like I say, no obligation there. Uh, but you do risk missing the action. So uh, OK, let's leave it at that. So as always, until next time, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, keep on flicking and uh, yeah, bye for now.